ask us quite a lot what we eat in the van, how the um, oven cooks. This is the kind of stuff that we love to eat in the van and the oven copes with it exceedingly well. Um, tonight is pizza night. So this is how we make pizzas in our van. We go to any supermarket and just buy a generic pizza base. All the supermarkets sell them. And we like the thin round. And I'll just show you what it looks like when you roll it out. So is, it, is this like long life or something or what? It's, um, it's fresh dough. It's not frozen. It is a fresh dough. That's a refrigerated it's one. It's a refrigerated okay. dough. So it's not a long life thing in it in a really thick garbled plastic no, wrap no, thing no. supposed to last forever. And it's really handy because they come on these um, bits of... Um, oven proof paper and a little bit of cardboard and then okay. what we do is we have our ingredients so this is how we make our pizzas but you can put whatever ingredients you like on yours the base for the pizza we cheat a little bit and we use a ready-made sauce you can use any sauce you want um this one is a french one from the supermarket and it's a nice really tomatoey provencal sauce that we find is really nice for a base sauce and so what we do is we heat the oven up. It's heated up now and I'm going to make my pizza now. So let's crack on and do it. First things first, you need to whack yourself some base sauce on. And this sauce is actually quite chunky and it's got a nice, nice bit of basil in it. Yep, leave me some. I will. Mm -hmm. Don't put too much on no, because, oh, I forgot to do my little, I have a little trick that I do on mine. And I just make a little edge around the edge. Let's have a look at this edge. I make it like a little edge. Oh, look, look. So that... No, I need to see the finger work. That's, come on. There we go. There you go. Just pinch this. it. Yep. A little bit. And it makes like it... a little crusty edge. There's nothing in slow mo, my, my wife. No. Yeah. And I find that it, it keeps everything from rolling off your pizza in the oven. Ah. If you know what I mean. Okay. So it also looks nice. It also looks nice, yeah. Okay. It I'll, I'll, nice I'll come back over here. Uh, see yeah. if we can get you in it as well. Don't forget to leave me some sauce. I won't. Because this was only half a jar. Yeah, we? it was. We've already used half of it for a chicken concoction. Mm. Which was very yummy, isn't it? Mm. Spread it out. Try not to put too much on, because if you put too much on, the base gets soggy. It does. And you don't want a soggy bottom base. No, no, no. Oh. That's it. Perfect to the edges. I'd say that's about enough. Lovely. So, a bit of oregano. Yeah, the next thing. Oh, oh, oregano. Yep. A little sprinkling. I've already gone out to give it a little bit of a nice herby kick. There we go. Okay. Lovely. So I, I now I've got oregano feet. Thank you. <laughs> you have not. Next thing, toppings. Whoop whoop. Ooh, Ham. Ooh, back over here. <clears throat> We've already actually taken quite a lot of the excess fat. You get quite a bit of edge fat on this kind of ham. And we do try Everyone and... says that's the best bit. I know, but we do try and tend to pull that off a little bit. We so do, it's... and then, then we just add it with loads of cheese. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why we bother doing that, to be honest, but there you go. That's plenty it's, of It's ham. harder to cut it out of the cheese, I think. Fat burner, I think I've, I think I've done you out of a bit of ham. Though. Never. Yeah. Mm, you've done me out of tomato sauce we've and all. Got there we go. We've got another packet. Mumble grumble. Mm -hmm. uh, why am I called Mr Grumpy? Vicky always steals all the stuff. Yeah. There you go, it's a bit of pepper on. Make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. Eat that bit. Eat that bit. Mm, yeah. Sweet corn on. This is just leftover stuff that was in the fridge. And I thought, you know what, I'll throw it on my pizza. There we go. Oh, now I do like, oh no, next thing mozzarella cheese you cannot have a pizza without big oozing chunks 
of mozzarella cheese. Oh, oh, I've got to say they're chunks. They are chunks. Not chunks. Chunks. Big chunks. Chunky chunky. <gasps> oh yeah, that's looking pretty good, Bernard. I must say myself. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't don't rush into it. Is that half? You, what can, you, say? you can have loads of mozzie. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to try and make it half. So you think you've nicked all the ham? I think I might have nicked all the ham. I think you might need some ham back. In fact, I'll know. give you some back. No, I think it looks good from here. But maybe that's because the camera is nearest to ham. Hang on, let's try it this way. Does it look alright? No, it looks like there's loads of olives. <laughs> there really isn't. She stole them all. No, I'm just going to put a couple of olives on. How come I've got one half of an olive? Left? Oh, I need. Oh, where's me? I had a bit of pizza. Oh, there it is. There we go. Back to the pizza. No, I always have a little bit of a hand wipe, buddy. No, that's my hand wipe. Doesn't matter. Mm. Um, and then uh, the next thing to do is the. Uh, the next thing to do is the. Now, this is a secret ingredient. Oh, hang on. Let, let's show the wife's face. She's not been in it for a while. Secret ingredient pesto. Little yeah. dollops, little drops of pesto on and how's the best way to do the dollops on a knife don't bother using oh. a spoon just do it on a knife so we'll come over here we get the whole picture it does look like i've got a lot of ham thanks that's all right and the pesto really oh just really just gives the pizza just a gorgeous gorgeous kick. or basically just put what you want on oh, yeah. if yeah. you like something yeah. put it on yeah is the gist. Mushrooms, you can have whatever you like on your pizza. All we're showing here is that pizzas are definitely doable in a, in a van. Oh, back over there. Oh, sneaking the cheese now. Right. Again. Back to cheese. La pièce de la résistance. Cheese. Cheese. So you've got to have two types of cheese on your pizza. You can't just have mozzarella. You have to have... Now, we usually have cheddar. But we've run out of cheddar. We've had all our we're in France. cheddar. Yeah, so Let's we're in Emmental. It, which in is France. Dutch. So Is it? Yes. It's not French, it's Dutch. Now one of the She's gone. It's alright, oh, it's just back. it's just a little a little tip. If you are ah. doing it in one of the smaller ovens, um oh, this oh, is a really good chip. The, the tip is it's a gas oven. It is, so get rid With of the flame. Yeah, so get rid of the excess edges of your paper. Otherwise, it can catch fire. <laughs> Which it did the last time we made pizzas. Burned a paper caught fire on the oven um, gas at the back. So don't forget to. Trim. We opened the door to have a look at it. It did flare up and it caught the paper and That's set right. it. So I then had a barbecued pizza. <laughs> now. Which was very nice. What we need to do now is we need to transfer this onto our little. Um, Tin that we have that fits have perfectly. Have we got one? We do, and it should be. Do we, do we not have a, a stone? So it's nice and hot. No, we don't no. have a stone. So we got a lightweight. We've got because a lightweight we're in a camper van. We got a lightweight tin that tin. doesn't that isn't round. It's rectangular. Yeah. And and the pizza doesn't fit on. So Bernard is going to take the tin out of the oven and put it on the top, ready for me to transfer my pizza. Yes, you are. Smile from me. <laughs> That's it. Alright, quick close the oven door, keep the heat in. It's important. Lit. Yeah. Lovely. Right, let's go over and do the pizza. Okay, so we are gonna do this as a dual operation because it needs two pairs of hands. Here we go. Right, let's do it, Bernard. Are you ready? Come on. <laughs> let's go. On your marks, get set, go. Whee! I <gasps> Beautiful. Here she is, transferred onto the dish. She's going in the oven. Let's go. In the oven, Bernard, in the oven. I'll let you do that because she's got asbestos fingers. I thought fingers. I was filming. No, you could do it with the asbestos fingers bit. I was burn myself. There we go. And it fits perfectly. And uh, what gas mark is it on? In the oven. Uh, about between seven and eight. Okay, I'll turn it up then. Beautiful. Right. I've just got to wait for it now. Ah! So, okay. So, should we tidy up now? Yeah, we'll tidy up now. Because it's a bomb site in here now. <laughs> Look. Vicky's, Vicky's been bomb Yeah, you can tell I've been cooking. Look at this. 
we think it must be around about due to have a little bit of a turnaround. So we're just going to have a look. Let's have a look. Stand back. Let's have a look. Oh, it's coming on nicely, yeah. What oh, we yeah. do with a little bit of a turn. Oh, that's looking good, Bernard, the right? The paper's cooked. Yeah. Sweet round. We just like to turn it a little bit. We go that way? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit papery. Oh. <coughs> go on, you can do it. Right, we're going in that way now. All right, we're going that way. Yeah. Cool. Mind right, your fingers. Go for it. Here we go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. In she goes. Looking good. Woo! <gasps> yep, all good. It's nearly done. Woo -hoo. There's flames and everything in there. Is there? Yeah. The paper's cooked. And yeah. This is this uh, is this is Bernard's version. This is Bernard's. Because we've got a rectangular tray, I've made my round pizza. Rectangular. Because mm. he's fussy like Bernard. that. Mm. Yeah, because he's a Bernard. Because he's a Bernard. And he can't possibly have a round one on a on a rectangular tray. <laughs> It's rectangular, which is a good idea, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, I'm saying that looks like a really good pizza, Bernard. Ready? Come on. Steady. Is she ready? Let's have a look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, she looks done to me. Yeah, that's coming out. Out she comes. Come on out, baby. <gasps> Yum! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! She looks gorgeous! Right, I'll just leave her on there for a minute, let her cool down a little bit. And here she is, in all her glory, on my plate! Oh, Bird is going in now! Well, see how well he transferred is? He's a bit good at that. Just a couple of finishing touches for mine, and she'll be good to eat. So, what have you got? I have got my pizza and I've got a lovely bottle of Bergerac um, from the Dordogne region where we stayed and that's a local oh. Bergerac um, Chateau wine and um, I'm going to stuff my face. There we go. That's a good pizza. Well, of course it's good. You made it. Mm. Oh, mm, yeah. A crunchy edges mm. and a gooey bottom. Mm. Best oh. left there, really. And this one is Bernard's concoction. That looks pretty delicious. Well, it fits the pan. It does. It does fit better, but I still think mine looks better as a rounded one. <laughs> Yummy.